Welcome back to the doctors. And I'm here with our good friend and breast surgeon, Dr. Christy Funk. And together, we're going to give two points of view from two doctors who deal with breast issues in very different ways. Isn't that right, Christy? Yes. Number one, thank you for being here. Thank Number you. Number two, me. are you ready? I am ready to All right, take you on. All right, bring on the breasts. All right, we received this question from Soccer45 All Star. She wrote on our Twitter page about her nipples. She tweeted, Hey, docs, my nipples are hard all the time. Why is that? Um, you know, nipples are hard because as the business end of breastfeeding, there's a lot of anatomy packed into that small patch of skin. Women have about 15 to 20 milk ducts, which are tiny tubes that connect the milk-producing lobules to the outside world, surrounded by this cylindrical smooth muscle stack that actually contracts involuntarily in response to sexual stimulation, cold temperature, um, you know, pain. So that's why nipples even get harder and erect. And as the soccer 45 implies, if you play a lot of sports and you're running around in a bra that's not fitting well, the constant chafing and nipple irritation can make your nipples chronically harder. So triathletes, for example, always wear nipple cream when they do their sports. All right, good answer. All right, moving right along, I received an email from Caroline in Atlanta, Georgia. She writes, Dear Dr. Orden, I heard there's a chance I could lose my nipple sensitivity if I get a breast augmentation. Is this true, and is there a way to prevent it? Well, it is true, and you know, we know our breast anatomy, right, doctor? We know that the primary sensory nerve to the nipple areola comes in through thoracic four, the medial and lateral branches, right? So one way to avoid it when we're putting this, this breast implant in underneath the breast is number one, by going below the muscle, doing a subpectoral augmentation, right. and probably making an incision through the inframammary crease and not going through the nip nipple, which are really your two main options as far as breast augmentation. Avoiding that probably will give you a higher chance, but studies have shown that anywhere from five to nine percent of people will lose sensation the first three years, and 10% after five years. You know, one thing that's interesting, a lot of women after breast augmentation, and you probably see it too, mm -hmm. as those nerve endings are coming back, they get actually, hypersensitive. They get super hypersensitive. Mm -hmm. But that condition usually is self-limiting and goes, goes away in a matter of months. And another third option is through the armpit. You do that approach, you definitely will avoid those 